Hey, what's going on guys? You know that I love the HD The Origin line and today's kit I don't think is gonna be any different. This is the MSD or Mobile Suit Discovery version of the gym from the HD The Origin line. This one being the shoulder cannon missile pod version of that. So it's gonna be a fairly familiar kit with some kind of new equipment, but overall a really cool new kit. I have to say it does look really nice. Let's go ahead and check it out here for today's video. All right, as we're taking a look at the box here and admiring this beautiful box art on the front with the three of the gym there, all each one with a kind of different outfit of weapons, one with just the regular hyper bazooka, one with the shoulder cannon, and then one with the missile pods. It would be really cool if Bandai would more frequently release like multiple sets like this, where you could get a set that includes three of this kit. I mean, of course you could certainly just buy three of this, but I think especially for the grunt suits, it would be cool if they sold them in like two or three packs of some of these grunt type suits like this. I think there's certainly plenty of people who would be willing to pick up sets that had multiples of the kit in the box. I think would definitely work, especially again for grunt type suits like this, but there you go. You can see all the really nice detail and weathering here on the box art. Very nice. And on the side of the box here, we have the same thing. This line is not numbered apparently for the MSD releases. So we don't have a number for this kit in particular, but on the bottom side of the box here, we have the painted sample build. It does have a really cool new beam rifle included in here and a couple different options for that. But there it is with the shoulder cannon. Here it is with the missile pod and the different kind of regular beam spray gun. And again, an image here showing a few of the different ways that you can have this kit outfitted a little bit here about the MSD design and the mobile suit discovery, just kind of series or line in general there. Around here on the other side of the box, more finished painted photos showing the different accessories, the missile pod, the beam saber, the shoulder cannon, the beam rifle early type there. So it looks like we're gonna have a lot of really great accessories included with this one, which is very cool. The hyper bazooka, the beam spray gun, early type, and and of course the shoulder cannon. We are also going to have some marking stickers included in here, but I think they're probably only going to be stickers, not water slides. Yes, unfortunately, and some foil stickers as well. So we'll get a look at all of that stuff here in just a moment. For the instruction manual on the top, we have the box art on the bottom here, photograph of the kit, the painted sample once again. There is some information over here in Japanese and in English if you guys want to check that out. There is also some specs down there at the bottom, which is kind of cool for reference, but the painted sample builds, of course, looking very nice nice here. Around on the back side we have some more images showing some of the details of the kit and there's also the marking guide down here at the bottom. So if you guys have built any of the HD The Origin and MSD releases, you know they typically have a lot of markings included with them if you want to actually use those. There is going to be plenty of those to put on. We've got our color guide here as well. And on the inside here is our parts list. We've got a couple of pages of the construction here that are going to be in color. The majority of the construction on the inside of the manual is all going to be there in black and white and it gives you options as to which version you're going to build. You can check that out there in the instructions. As for our foil stickers, there you can see we've got some for like the head cameras and joint covers on the ankles, knees and elbows, for example, those are pretty typical. Then we have all these little red dots. That's going to be for all the little missiles for the missile pod. So interesting set of foil stickers there. Then we've got those sticker marking decals with some different number options there for you. The EFF, EFSF logos there and then some red and white mostly for the caution markings and everything for this. A few of the decals there in gray, but mostly white and red. Getting into the runners, then we've got PC001 for our polycaps here in gray, and SB13 for our clear pink beam saber effect parts. Runner A here is in four colors, yellow up there at the top, a nice kind of deep red color there. You have that kind of slightly bluish minty kind of white there, off-white color for the main color of the gym. And then the visor part there in a clear bluish green color. Runners B and C are gonna be here molded in gray. A couple of pretty large packed runners there. Runner B is going to be all of our hand parts and joint parts looks like mostly everything on there for the kit. And then runner C is gonna be all of the weapons parts. So you can see it kind of broken down. Here's some parts for the backpack and different weapons parts there. Whereas we're going to have a number of different weapons included with this as we saw from the box art and the instruction manual. Runner D we have two of, some more of that light blue off-white color here for parts for the arms and legs. And then runner E1, some more parts here for the shield, weapons parts for the hyper bazooka, and then parts for around on the body. And then lastly, some more weapons parts here in gray on runner H. It looks like basically the parts for the shoulder cannon. And that's it for all the runners. Let's check out the kit. 
All right, here is the kit all built up. It's awesome once again. A very familiar kit, obviously being based on a couple of different kits that we've had out before. This latest variation, I would say, uh, does give you some really nice options, some new parts in there, some familiar parts, and just overall, again, yeah, it's just a really great option for you if you wanted to have a little bit more variety or if maybe this particular version of the gym is you you know really really uh, exciting for you or if you maybe have one or two other different kind of versions of this kit in previous releases maybe you want a bit more variety with some new options some new weapons and stuff this kit definitely gives you that so let's go ahead and go through everything all right so first off we've got our different hand options which is nice to see is not always guaranteed in hg kits aside from these holding hands right here we've also got some trigger finger hands for both the left and the right side and these open hands as well for the left and the right side as well. It can be open hands or rifle support hands for our number of different weapons we have here. We've got the regular gym spray gun, which is just a couple of pieces put together. So very simple there, but really nice design. You can see it's got a little peg and a handle for pegging into the trigger finger hand for a very good, strong, firm support there. We've also got the much more interesting looking beam spray gun early type here, where we do have a little sticker for like the camera lens there on the bottom. Again, it is a very simple build anyway, just a couple of parts here for this, but it's nice to see just something kind of different, something interesting here to have for a change for the good old gym. Then we've also got the early type beam rifle here as well from the Origin Gundam. Basically, we've got a little sticker for the camera for this one, this camera bit here at the back can move we've got a secondary handle over here on this side which can also pop out there like that around here on this side got this peg that uh, folds out there for plugging this onto the back skirt so certainly a little bit more complex weapon here in terms of just uh, having a few more parts than the previous two but really really cool design i love the design of this kind of version of the beam rifle it's really nice to have that included and then we've got the hyper bazooka again this is just taken from the hg the origin version of the gundam i've got the connector already added onto there but that's just a connector for putting this onto the back skirt once again we have a sticker for the camera lens on the top there the big yellow sticker that will move the main handle here it will move up and down for being able to get this up over the shoulder and again really nice design here for this one and a little bit different uh, from the original like origins version of the hg 144 scale origins gundam in that it's just sort of in this more minty color rather than being in white to match the minty white color of the gym and up there for the backpack armaments of course we've got the shoulder cannon from the origin gundam there as well which is always a really cool weapon and then we've got our missile pods now we do of course have two of those for the left and the right side we've got this little connection arm which will allow you a little bit of movement here for these basically you can kind of adjust that forward and back and you can just add them both onto both sides if you wanted to have it with the both missile pods there all the little red bits is all those tiny little red stickers you have to place on those which does take a couple minutes uh, but it does give you that nice separation of that color there if you want to go ahead and use the stickers And we have some more missile pods here for these side skirts these little ones Will also you can add on to the left and the right side just plug right there onto the side skirt And again, you have little red stickers for those as well Our beam saber handles are stored here on the back skirt and we do have our clear pink beam saber effect parts, two of those to go with our two beam saber handles there. And then our shield here, which is very nice, is going to plug onto the back side of the arm with that peg, which is mounted on this joint right here. And as you can see, this whole section can slide up and down on this track on the back side of the shield. And then you can use the handle or not. You don't necessarily need to use the handle. You can just kind of leave it like that and have it just plugged into the back of the arm and leave both hands free. Or you can hang onto the handle there as well but I really like this kind of a little bit different style design here for the shield kind of like with the early type version of the beam rifle I like that it's very familiar but a little bit different it's very cool lastly we have a few leftover parts and just to note a couple of these we have a couple of these attachment parts here which is basically for attaching the beam saber handles into the backpack like a like standard Gundam style so you can use those in place of the missile pods or the shoulder cannon if you want to use those beam saber uh, handle attachment pieces and also for the forearm as you can see the left and the right side are different there so you have those pieces available in like two of each so if you wanted to make them symmetrical both either having or not having this kind of little Vulcan detail there in the forearm 
you have the parts to make that if you want. Now as for the kit, I already talked about the stickers on the missile pods, the stickers for the cameras on the weapons, but we have some more stickers here for the joints at the elbow joints right there, those gray and silver stickers. Also at the knee joint and ankle joints, we have stickers there and there. Also, it's kind of an odd one, but here on the chest at the bottom of that gray piece, you have a slightly lighter gray color there for her sticker. It's a very, very slight color difference, but there's a little sticker there for that. Also like on the weapons, we have stickers for the camera here on the head, right there on the front, really nice detail underneath the clear visor part there for the front of the head. And then around on the back, we have another sticker there for the camera on the back of the head as well. While we're here, we can take a look at the backpack. These thruster bells, the three on the back side are movable. These two side ones are not movable. Those are fixed in place but these three there, you can adjust the angle of those. If you did want to have the bazooka plugged onto the back skirt or the beam rifle plugged onto the back skirt for storage, you are gonna have to remove the beam saber handle uh, mount piece on there. So just a heads up on that. I guess you could use the hard point here on the back of the backpack, it would look kind of strange, but typically this is where you're gonna mount the weapons for storage. And so you'll have to make a choice which one you wanna use there. But as you can see, I mean, we do have hard points here on the back side of the arms, that's more for the shield. But another cool feature is here on the back of the leg, again, carried over from the Origin Gundam, you have this little flap that opens up there with an extra little thruster bell hidden up inside the back of the calf, which is a really cool little added detail there. But all right, guys, with that, let's go ahead and try out some different poses here with this kit. And just like with the entirety of the HG The Origins lineup, the articulation on these kits is absolutely fantastic. So you're not going to have any issues with that. You have nice double joints in the elbows, in the knees, you have swinging hip joints and a really nice articulation even in the torso there with some nice uh, ab crunch and everything. So the articulation is fantastic on these kits. Fantastic detail as well. It's another thing that's been kind of a staple of the HG The Origins uh, releases and the Kukuro's Duan's Island releases, which are also kind of, you know, basically a part of the Origins line as well. Uh, they all have really nice detail on them, so they look fantastic, even in 144 scale. HG kits we typically think of as not being, you know, so highly detailed, but these ones are certainly are. You are gonna have a seam line on the head and maybe a little bit on some of the weaponry, but ultimately not really too much in the way of seam lines on this one, so it should be a pretty easy kit to paint up if you're wanting to paint it. Alternatively, I mean, if you just want to just do some panel lining just to help uh, bring out some of those details on it, spray it with some top coat, include some of the marking decals on it there as well. I mean, it's gonna be a really good looking kit just straight out of the box if you like. But not only all that, all that fantastic articulation, fantastic detail, but with this one, we also have a ton of weapon and option parts as well. So a few good hand options, which is always nice. Like I said, it's not necessarily uh, standard for the HG line to have multiple hand options included, so it's nice to have those. And then all of our weapon options, we've got the early type beam rifle, the beam spray gun, the early type beam spray gun, the hyper bazooka, and then the actual like mounted weaponry of like the missile pods, the over the shoulder cannon, and then of course the classic beam sabers and shield in there make for a lot of options for this one. And it's one of those that I feel like is definitely going to be one that I think people will be picking up multiples of just to maybe not necessarily army build them because it's not the cheapest kit. I mean, it is going to be a little bit more expensive. The HG The Origins line has been on the little bit more pricier side compared to some other HGs, but I think a lot of that is just due again to uh, the detail and quality in the engineering, the construction details. And in this case, we also have a lot of accessories in there as well. So it's certainly a warranted price, but I could definitely see people wanting to pick up multiples of this kit to be able to have multiples in uh, maybe different weapons loadouts, for example. So definitely check it out. Very cool kit. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam store. We got this kit and a whole bunch of other cool kits from the origin and uh, lots of other Gunpla kits uh, there as well. So check that out. And if you guys would also like to leave a like, make sure that you're subscribed and leave a comment. That's also super helpful. Really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. Till next time, have a great day, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.